So today on NCIX Tech Tips, we're gonna be having a look at the UPS or uninterruptible power supply. So what's a UPS and what does it do for you? Well, first of all, most UPSs will contain a surge protector. So what that means is should lightning strike nearby or someone plugs in a, a vacuum cleaner all of a sudden and the voltage dips, it's gonna protect your computer from any changes in the voltage in your household wiring. So that's a huge benefit. Now, a surge protector will do that too, to a certain extent, but a UPS will also allow you to run your computer even if the power goes out. So you can see the Tech Tips PC is still on behind me and my, uh, my ProSource 900 watt UPS here is actually telling me that we can run for about 60 minutes with a low power computer like this just on battery power. Now every UPS is by definition a big battery and then a voltage inverter. So you're able to take DC power off the batteries inside and you're able to turn it into something that your computer can use. Now, that doesn't mean that all UPSs are made equal. So with this basic unit on my left here, you can get about 300 watts. So you can power some a fairly low end desktop computer and monitor for a few minutes. It gives you time to save your work before it crashes. And you can also use it in order to prevent surges. So it's got a built in surge protector. Whereas if you move into a much higher end unit, it, I could actually use this 900 watt unit to power a high-end gaming desktop 30 inch monitor for you know 10 minutes and besides that okay because this costs substantially more you also get the benefit of what's called a line interactive UPS versus an offline UPS so with an offline UPS you're taking the mains voltage from your house and you're feeding that directly into the computer unless it turns off or dips substantially. Whereas with a line interactive UPS, it can handle a brownout or occasional spike and it can actually adjust on the fly without completely switching to battery, but without giving you direct access to potentially dirty power coming from the wall. So if someone turns on a vacuum cleaner, you might notice the lights flicker a little bit. That's a perfect example of a brownout. This will protect your computer power supply 24 seven. So why are we talking about UPSs today? It's a boring topic. It's a fairly boring product. However, I feel personally that it is very important and my personal experience with it has led me to believe that it can even be essential. Now, my parents live in a fairly new house built about a year and a half ago. They've got a media setup, media PC, a projector, all that stuff. Now, over the course of the last year, I probably changed a dozen components in that computer. I changed out about three hard drives, four motherboards, a few different power supplies. I couldn't get it stable and the hardware just kept dying. So eventually what I did, so I plugged in a UPS. Now, when a UPS kicks in, you can hear a bit of a ticking noise, and that means that you've had some kind of brownout or voltage irregularity, and it's happening every five minutes. I plug in the UPS, it's been about six months, I haven't had a piece of hardware die in that computer since. So a UPS can be tremendously important for protecting your hardware in addition to allowing you to save your data should the power go out or anything like that. So thank you for checking out NCIX Tech Tips on our UPS topic today should lightning strike or the power goes out and you lose power, A, your power supply won't feel it nearly as much and B, you can actually unplug your computer and that did not work. <laughs> because what I'm saying